hello folks so in this video we are going to talk about wordpress persona verification plugin so if you don't know persona so it's kind of a identity verification platform um, where you can upload your document government document and it will be verified by this persona and then you can use that verification status on your wordpress site so i'm not going deep for the persona you can read the documentation and solution for that uh, let's jump into the plugin so here is the plugin link where you can buy this plugin over here i already purchased it and this is my local wordpress setup and where i have configured the persona verification plugin so after installing plugin uh, we have to make some configuration so we will need persona template id and uh, persona environment id so um, if you add these two details from your live account account then this configuration will be considered at as uh, your live account and if you add these two details from your sandbox account then it will be considered as sandbox account so here how to get these two details so click on this link and follow this instruction over here so you will need to have account on persona i have my account which is a sandbox account so let's click on this link so i'm gonna open this link from my sandbox account so i'm already logged in with my sandbox account and here i am on the page called embedded flow inside the integration let me get rid of this then you can select basic verification over here if nothing is there just select basic then here is the template id which we need to add over here template id so let me copy this i'm gonna copy this let me copy the environment id and environment id and redirect page so until user is verified it will always be redirected to this page and in this page there is this short code uh, which is responsible for displaying button which i'm gonna show you in a bit so um persona verification let me show you what is there inside and this will be automatically set when you activate the plugin and if this page is not set then you can create a new page add this short code in this page and select that page over here by searching so let me search this page persona verification edit that again you don't need to configure this this is i am just showing you if for some reason this page is not set for you you can do it manually as well so in that page we will see this short code this is the short code so if this is set then you are all set to use this plugin you just need to make sure that you add these two details correctly okay now let me go to users and let me reset a password for this username oh, sorry this user subscriber user and i'm gonna try login with this user in the incognito window
now i'm gonna open my incognito window and i will try to access the site so once you try to access the site as you can see it is there directly redirecting us to the login page so let's log in so when you enable this plugin uh, nobody will be able to access your site pages without login so now let's log in so currently this is a default wordpress site so it is giving us this page but you can use some plugin which prevents accessing this profile page but let's try to access the front page so as you can see it is uh, redirecting us to verification page even if i click on this page it will always gonna redirect me to this page so we have to have verify ourselves before accessing any of these pages so let's go and verify it so it says the real verifications are not performed in the sandbox so as we added our sandbox details so this is going to be considered as sandbox so let's begin verify and in 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 the sandbox you can upload any dummy image you don't need to upload your original uh, documents so I'm going to upload some random photo over here and use this photo so it is processing and you are being verified so let's click on done once it is verified you can access any of the pages on the site like this and let's check one more thing over here and let's go to accounts and we can always check which account is verified so test user is just verified so we can see the the entry of that user with reference id where the reference id will be users user id so this is how this plugin works if you have any doubt question please write down below in the comment section thanks for watching the video guys